Hello everybody, because many of you were asking about the MPU 6050 module, today I will try to explain a little bit how to use it with uh, ESP8266 module like the next EVO one that you can see actually here. So I've just received the modules and now we will try to hook them up and see what's happening next. So these are the modules, just received them from Banggood. Um, as probably you know already, they are a lot of different ones. Actually what's happening, uh, as you can see here, the code for this module is GI521, but Let's tell you something. Under this name, you can find different types and different quality ones. The biggest problem with uh, this G1521 module is that many of them are actually not working if you are using 3.3 volts input. Yeah? You can see here we have a small regulator and on some modules um, the regulator has a bigger voltage dropout so basically what's happening when you apply let's say 5 volt then on the output you have a proper 3.3 volts and the module is working okay on other ones it's also okay to apply 3.3 volt and you have also a low voltage dropout and then everything is working okay. Uh, in case of this module I just find out that it's working also at 3.3 volt but uh, to be honest with you I have no idea I have done I didn't done any test regarding the accuracy of the, the modules yet they need also to be calibrated and uh, tested properly but what we are trying to do today actually is to just hook them up and to help people a little bit to be able to access them because the the main complaints were about the fact that they are not able to access the modules and uh, they are not able to program them and I'm talking here especially about node MCU because uh, they are also some drivers available uh, under Arduino IDE but now we are talking mainly about node MCU yeah? uh, for connecting the module uh, with ESP8266 I will use um, the next evolution module and uh, as you can see the MPU 6050 module it's fully compatible with the next evolution and extension bus so basically what are we doing we are just hooking it on top okay so now let's try to switch over and uh, let's see what's happening on the on the software side yeah? I will just power it up okay so now we have the module let me take out the thing okay so yep it's powered up okay so what's happening there are few important things about so first of all we need to be sure that we are using the proper I swear key uh, address yeah so for the module that I have here the default address is uh, 68 hexa or 104 decimal yeah you have actually on the module if we are looking back a little bit uh, you have here on the module uh, I apologize about this but my video mixer has some problems uh, you have the 
AD0 pin from where you can actually choose another I square C address that is actually 69 but uh, for default we will use the 68 one yeah okay okay so let's go back what's happening to be able to use the module you need to be sure that you are properly initializing everything and with everything I mean the I square C bus need to be properly initialized you need to be sure that you are properly initializing the MPU 6050 and also you need to be sure that the MPU 6050 it's properly configured and also it started and I say started because uh, when you power up the 6050 uh, it will go directly in a sleep mode so with the device in the sleep mode you won't be able to do anything with it yeah so uh, the software will be available and you can take a look on it and I will explain it a little bit more uh, in the related blog you will find the link below uh, let's see how it's working yeah so let's take it from the beginning we have everything power off yeah the module is connected on the bus yeah so we have proper vcc ground scl sda let's power it on okay and now let's check the ESP first yeah it's there it's alive and let's try to to check the MPU 6050 module to see what's happening with it yeah so if you are running uh, of course we need to we need to load the software come on um, I didn't load it because I wanted to do it step by step as is done the first time by you so this is the reason that uh, I've just deleted the MPU 6050 Lua file from the, the next evolution module because I wanted to go through it step by step and to try to explain it a little bit more to be sure that everybody is understanding what need to be done to be able to use this module it's a very nice one actually and probably after a proper calibration and uh, testing uh, it will uh, return uh, very very good values yeah so now we have the, the software loaded yeah and uh, let's try to check it now yeah so we will check it and look what's happening now we don't have a proper i squared c bus initialization now yeah the device it's found at the address 068 yeah but the response from mpu 6050 is not available yeah and this is very very important thing yeah if we are looking on the on the check mpu you will see that actually we are uh, doing first uh, a status request and status request is something very very simple we are just connecting directly uh, to the i square bus and if we receive a response whatever response it really doesn't matter from the 068 address then we can say that we have found the device on the bus but the bus is not properly initialized and this is uh, a trap for for many many people because you know many times you are saying yeah look i have the device on 068 yeah so it's it's uh, the response it's okay uh, it should work okay but it's not working okay look you can have a response yeah but the i square c bus is not properly initialized uh, i'm insisting so much on, on the i square c bus proper initialization because many many times this can be an issue yeah so let's go back 
we are uh, doing the, the checking for the MPU device here. Uh, we have uh, checked the status for the 068 address and definitely somebody is there because we have an answer yeah and but after that we are checking specifically to see if we have a proper communication and we want to see an answer from the MPU 6050 yeah? and for this thing we are using the HUIM register yeah it's register 117 and if we received a proper answer then we can say the device it's there and it's answering okay and then we can suppose that everything that is related with the i square c communication it's working properly yeah um, so uh, let's see what's happening next if we are trying again yeah definitely the answer is the same, the MPU 6050 is not available. So I will initialize now the I2C, just a proper standard I2C initialization. You can see it actually just here, yeah? So it's just a, a standard I2C in it, yeah? A setup, I will uh, define SDA and ICL and uh, slow mode, yeah? Now, after I square C initialization, we will check again the MPU module, yeah, and look at the answer. What's happening? Now we have the device again, definitely at 068, yeah. The MPU 6050 device now it's answering okay, so that means that we have checked and we have read the values from the HUIM register. And the value received, it's okay. Actually, it's 0, 0.68. It's the default value. You can change it, but uh, I think you can keep it 0, 0.68. Yeah. And now the next step in our checking to be sure that everything is properly initialized before reading any values, it's the status. Yeah. And you can see the report. It's MPU 6050. It's in sleep mode exactly what I told you to the beginning. Uh, when it's powered up, it will go directly in the sleep mode, yeah? And for the sleep mode, we will take a look on the power management register that it's actually 107, yeah? We are just uh, doing a um, read register, yeah? And if we will find the proper value there, then definitely we will we can decide that it's it's in the sleep mode yeah as soon as you clear the the power management register uh, the MPU 6050 will go in the active mode and after that we can use it and we can access the data yeah okay so we'll check again Checking the, the MPU 6050 device, uh, we have uh, found it, uh, the device is answering OK, we can find it that it's in the sleep mode. So now we can go to the next step and we can initialize, actually start the MPU 6050 module by clearing the, the power management register. So we have just uh, done the init and I will show you a very quick also this function yeah so basically what are we doing here uh, we are writing in the specific register uh, the zero value yeah okay and let's see what's happening now if we are checking again the MPU 6050 module yeah now we can find it it's answering OK, so am register is read OK. We have write it in the power management uh, register, and now MPU 6050, it's in active mode. And after all these steps, now we can say that our module is properly connected, it's answering OK, i square c is configured OK, and the module is in active mode 
So if I try now to read some values from the module, yeah, we can see that we are receiving also some some answers. Yeah. So let's try to move it a little bit and also need some values. Actually, you can see it here if you want. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just moving it and uh, obtaining some values. Yeah. So these are. Uh, please keep in mind that the values that we are um, printing here are row values. So it's no uh, conversion of the data they are just row values as we can find them in the register and nothing else yeah you you can find the function here okay so uh, this is the the first introduction uh, on the mpu 6050 module uh, i hope that uh, you like it and uh, you can give me obviously a thumbs up and um, uh, we will continue later Thank you very much.